Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'll be telling you about how to plot a graph in Scilab. To plot a graph in Scilab, launch your Scilab console and then click right here to launch your Scilab notes. And then let's save the file with some appropriate name and I'm calling it plot. Okay, so let's suppose that I want to plot a graph of sine of x where x is in radians. So um, let's say x is equal to a vector from 0 to twice of pi which means that I want to plot a graph of sine of x from 0 to 2 pi and excuse me instead of comma it would be a colon right here okay that's it and then let's call the other variable y and which is sine of x which is my function that I want to plot the graph and then just very easily you can use this command plot of x comma y where x denotes the points of x axis and y denotes the points of y or you know in this case the function that I want to get on the y axis let me just arrange my windows a little bit okay so um, this is better so now what this is going to do is it is going to assign values like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 2 pi, twice of pi to x but it is not going to give me a very good result so what I need to do is I need to enter a step width or a interval size here so let's say I enter it as 0.1 so this is your syntax for entering the step size 0 denotes the starting point and the last element denotes the ending point while the elements between the two column or the number between the two columns denotes the step size or the interval size so now what x looks like is it is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 up till twice of pi so when I give this command plot x comma y it's going to plot a graph of y versus x now let's just um, run this by clicking right here and as you can see I got a very clean and neat graph of sine of x which goes from 0 to twice of pi which would lie something somewhere between 6 and 6.5 now um, I know you must be thinking it's quite easy to plot a graph in uh, Scilab and you must love it here and secondly sometimes you might not want to plot a graph of a specific function but you might have some values for various values of x like you are doing uh, an experiment in your lab and you get some values of x and you get some values of y in that case what you can do is you can just specify the values of x in a matrix like this and let us say I had these x values and the corresponding and you can enter the corresponding y values um, somewhat like this let's say I got these values while I was doing my experiment and as you can see it pre it's pretty much an x squared function y is equals x squared now if I give this command and also let me just enter a line clf which stands for clearing this plot uh, which um, the last graph that I have already plotted so clf would clean the screen of the graphic window here now let's run this program now, as you can see I got a pretty neat graph of x squared so it's pretty easy to plot a graph in Scilab but the best part of Scilab is that it provides you a variety of you know um, functions in how you can customize this graph of yours and now the next part of the tutorial will focus on how you can customize a graph that you have already plotted in Scilab now let's do something here now the plot function is pretty basic and you can learn more about it by entering plot in, door, in your help browser right here by clicking right here and if you enter plot in the help browser then you will get some more details about this function however there's another function in Scilab called plot2d now what this function does is that it is pretty cool as it offers more customization options uh, than plot now what you can do is in, instead of just 
providing x comma y you can even provide the color of this graph that you want like if you want it to be blue if you want it to be red or any color that you want and moreover you can even make a dotted or or a curve that is denoted by dots so let's see how to do that now let's um, go back to our previous you know let's study the sine graph because I love sinusoidal curves so let's um, go back to my gradients and let me assign this matrix of X and let's say y equals sine of x and now in plot 2d function what you can do is that you can enter a third argument and which can take positive as well as negative values now when you give a positive value it represents a color and let's say I enter 3 which stands for blue color and when you uh, hit the run button here okay I'm wrong it stands for green color so you get a green colored graph right here just because I enter the third argument as 3 and you can change these values to 4, 5, whatever you want I guess uh, 4 stands for blue and then click on execute and you get a blue curve by entering 4 here so all the positive integers that you will enter here will represent a color if you enter the third argument as you know a positive integer However, if you need a graph with, which has points or markers instead of, you know, a continuous, um, what Scilab is doing right here is it is joining the points and with a straight line. So instead, you might sometimes want to see just the points. So what you can do is instead of entering a positive number right here, you can enter a negative number. Let's say I enter minus 2 and what you get is you get some markers now changing these uh, negative numbers uh, represents um, dif different markers so you can pretty much choose from a variety of markers right here say minus sign and this one is my favorite and maybe minus one is pretty good too it is just crosses 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 and what happens when you give just zero it gives you a curve with dots I'm not sure if you might be able to see these dots pretty well as they are pretty small but zero stands for dots while positive integers stand for colors and negative integers will give you different types of markers now another cool feature of plot 2d function right here is that you can even specify another argument that is called leg and it takes up only strings and what it does is let me just run um, this thing right here and show you what um, what I have done right here so when I run it I get a kind of a uh, index or a key of this graph that this red curve stands for sine of x so if I'm plotting you know various graphs on a single graphical window then it is quite useful now that you know how to plot graphs in Scilab let me just give you a quick overview of what we did today and let me just open this file where I have summarized all, all the points that we went through today so let's say I have x which is a vector and takes values from 0 up till twice of pi with a space width or step width of 0 0.1 and let's say the, the y variable is sine of x and which is now a vector since x is a vector. Now when I give the command plot of y then what the computer does is that it plots y and it plots y with respect to natural numbers so it plots y versus 1 comma 2 comma 3 and so on so since we hadn't given any x arguments so the computer just naturally assumes x values to be natural numbers as you can see it hasn't plotted y of 0 it has started from y of 1 then y of 2 and so on so what plot y does is that it plots y with respect to natural numbers now if I give the command plot x comma y and as you know it will just plot y versus x where y is sine of x and x takes up values from 0 to twice of pi with a increment of 0.1 now let's go to the third type of graph that we plotted today plot 2d x comma y comma 5 now as you can guess that 
Five is the third argument that we have given and it refers to the style or the color of the graph and since it is a positive number it must change the color of the graph and in this case it will make the graph of red color. So which is quite you know visible here that I am getting a red colored graph. Now let's go over to the fourth kind of graph that we plotted today and that is plot to the x comma y and the third argument is minus six right here. And as you might remember, minus 6 stands for a marker curve. That is, the curve would be represented by some markers or marks. And let's see what we get when we run it. And we get the curve represented by marks. And that is triangular marks for minus 6. Now let's go over to the fifth kind of graph that we plotted today. And it is plot to the x comma y comma 5 and leg is equal to sine of x so when you run this you get a key or a you know indicator that the red curve stands for sine x and that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it was of some use to you if you are new to learning scilab then i recommend that you watch my video series on scilab and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have some questions just mention them in the comment section below have a nice day